Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. I want to show you a video and we're going to unpack the video after you watch it. Then it's time for us to just put to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say, we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough. We're done being invaded. Because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly. National security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a their second. country hold a better on. People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. The man you saw in that video is named Eric Dean Prince. This is important. The man that is talking about colonizing or recolonizing Africa is an American businessman who is a former U.S. Navy SEALs officer and the founder of the private military company Blackwater. This is really important. He is the founder of a private military company and he was the CEO, I believe, from 2009 until it sell to a group of investors in 2010. And on top of that, he's the brother of the former US Secretary of Education, Betsy. So he is well connected in the government. He's a former Navy SEALs and he is also the founder of a private military company. This is the man on that video that was talking about colonizing Africa again because apparently we can't govern it ourselves. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Are there bad leaders in Africa? Correct. Are there corrupt leaders in Africa? Correct. Are they running our countries to the ground? Correct. Do they represent all of us? No. Who is funding them and who is facilitating their corruption, their livelihoods, and their tyranny on us. You don't have to look far to realize that it's the Western nation specifically and the biggest facilitator being the United States of America. It's no longer a conspiracy because we have lots and lots of lots of evidence to the point where this evidence is when they uh, started popping up or when they were leaked one example could be Julian Assange. They are crucifying him because he exposed what has been going on, right? So this man, as a former US Navy SEALs that knows better, this is not coming from an ignorant point of view. This man knows well what is really going on behind the scenes, who's really funding these wars, who's really moving the board and moving the actual leaders like how they want them to move. He knows exactly who the puppet masters are but he sits down and acts so naive and he acts like it's the leaders, just the leaders that are running it to the ground and it's because they're Africans, they don't know how to govern themselves so they need us like the audacity. He is insulting our intelligence and assuming that the people that are watching his interview are not gonna know better. And unfortunately, there's lots of people that believe that they are helping us by sending their troops foreign to us. But for them, it's their Navy SEALs, it's their troops, it's the UN troops that are being sent to our countries and they are trying to help us. That's what they know and that's what they truly believe. They believe that we are in this situation because of ourselves, purely ourselves. And by the way, we're not saying that our leaders don't play a role, but they're not the main players. They're just puppets. 
quite literally, this powerful nations can decide tomorrow, I can remove this guy and tomorrow I'm going to replace him with someone else. That's how insignificant our leaders are because they can be moved around. And as we all know, when they are standing up for their people and for the unity of Africa, what happens to them? They're unalived quickly by using, again, puppet people, people that are selling out their own people. So for him to sit down and act like it's because we can't run our own countries and there's no involvement or there's nothing sinister going on behind the scenes is just an insult to our intelligence. And unfortunately, a lot of people will buy it and accept it because even in this video, I've seen so many comments, so many people agreeing with him. Africans, let me tell you, Africans saying that he's right, he's not lying, it's our own leaders. Our leaders are contributing to this, that's a fact, but they are insignificant. Today you're angry with your president, tomorrow it's going to be another president, they're just being used. The main thing is pushing back the invisible hand that is moving them around and using them to destabilize our continent and to make us fight one another instead of focusing on the right thing. That is what we need to be focusing on, not appreciating this white man for saying the truth. I think I heard someone say it's facts. Really? <laughs> really, man? Come on now, we can do better. It's 2024. Information is available and you can literally find anything that you need to find right now by just googling, by just going on these sites that are exposing what is happening behind the scenes. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about what this man said. I am Wangil Zalalem, I'll see you on the next